Hello everyone, my name is Yara Walker and I'm presenting from Zurich, Switzerland. My mentor is Dr. Andrea Merchek and I'm thrilled to be able to present my research to you today. Um, have you ever wondered why you get that fluttery feeling in your stomach or why you feel nervous in your gut before giving a presentation? There's a reason people often refer to the gut as the second brain. My research focuses on unraveling the gut-brain connection and exploring just how stress and anxiety manifest within the gastrointestinal system. I've always been very fascinated by neuroscience and the brain as a whole, um, but aspiring to start a career in the medical field has also fueled my curiosity on how the body works and why it does the specific things it does. Um, my interest for this specific project sparked when I started reading about individuals whose severe stress led to chronic physical symptoms. Um, I wanted to attempt to highlight just how closely our brain and gut interact and their significant impact on our daily lives and just as a whole try and um, spread some awareness on the matter. So um, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and start. So first and foremost, I'd like to delve into what exactly stress is. So stress is a response to a threatening situation, which triggers either physiological, psychological, or, or and behavioral reactions. Um, this disruption of our body's balance can significantly impact someone's daily life. Um, stress can manifest in many, many different ways. So physically, for example, through um, symptoms such as nausea and hypertension, mentally through intrusive thoughts, anxiety, and immunologically by altering uh, gut microbiota and immune functions. Stress also activates something called the HPA axis, which stands for hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Um, this is a very complex system involving three key parts. Um, the hypothalamus, um, which is a part of the brain that senses stress, the pituitary gland, which releases hormones in response to the stress, and then last but not least, the adrenal glands, which are located on the top of your kidneys and produce stress hormones such as cortisol. Um, these hormones uh, increase blood sugar, alter heart rate, and modify gastrointestinal function. Elevated stress hormones can disrupt gut microbiota balance, um, which can lead in its turn to conditions such as constipation or diarrhea. And um, it, just over, it just affects overall gastrointestinal health. Now let's talk about the gut microbiome. So this refers to the trillions of microorganisms, including bacteria, fungi, and viruses living in our intestines. These microorganisms help with digestion, they support our immune system, and they also affect our mood. So a healthy gut microbiome is essential for proper digestion and immune function, and it's affected by what we eat and just our overall lifestyle. So moving on, it's very important that we understand the term gut-brain axis. So this term refers to the bidirectional communication between our gut and our brain. It involves several pathways, including the vagus nerve. Um, so the vagus nerve is one of the longest nerves in the body, and it plays a crucial role in um, this communication. It sends signals from the gut to the brain and vice versa. So gut, gut, gut bacteria can produce substances like serotonin, um, which is a chemical that can help regulate mood, um, which impacts how we as humans handle stress. In order to put the impact of stress on the gut microbiome into a better perspective, um, we can also um, say that stress uh, not only affects our mood, but also disrupts the balance of our gut microbiome. Um, this imbalance, known as dysbiosis, can lead to a condition called leaky gut. Um, in this condition, the gut lining becomes more per permeable, um, which allows harmful sub substances to pass into the bloodstream and cause inflammation. This can worsen stress and contribute to gastrointestinal problems such as IBS, which stands for irritable bowel syndrome, um, which in its turn causes symptoms like abdominal pain and changes in bowel habits and et cetera. So um, recent research ha has shown that probiotics, which are beneficial bacteria, which are found in foods such as yogurt, um, can help manage stress-related symptoms. So for instance, Studies have tested probiotics on animals and humans to see if they can reduce anxiety and improve their mood. Um, some probiotics have shown to increase the levels um, of beneficial bacteria in the gut and have reduced inflammation, helping to manage stress more effectively. So in summary, uh, my research highlights a vital link between the gut microbiome and stress. 
So by improving our understanding of the gut-brain axis, we can develop new strategies for managing stress and enhancing well-being as a whole through targeted, uh, potential targeted uh, probiotic therapies. Thank you so much for listening.